NASA's Artemis 1 mission to the moon. Uh, overnight, there has been a significant number of delays, starting with a weather hold, a hydrogen leak, a crack, and now the latest from NASA, a tweet that the launch is currently in an unplanned hold as the team works on an issue with engine number three on the NASA SLS core stage. This is an, just one more issue that NASA has been dealing with that is delayed. Um, the launch of Artemis One, and joining us now is ABC News's Morgan Norwood and Nadia Drake. She's a science journalist for Scientific American and Nat Geo. Morgan, I want to start with you. What is the launch status right now, and what is causing these delays? Yeah, Mona, as you mentioned, we've just kind of been in a holding pattern. And I don't know if you can see the clock right behind me, but I'll describe it for you. It is frozen at 40 minutes. And I don't know, Nadia, it's been kind of like that for the past few minutes or so. You read the update from NASA on Twitter just a few minutes ago. But it's just been a cascade, a series of uh, situations here that and issues that have unfolded uh, over the past few hours. Of course, first it was the weather, right? The lightning rolling through. That ended up getting cleared. But, you know, that did cause a ripple effect of delays. We also had some some issues with the tank, correct? Mm -hmm. And then most recently, uh, an issue with engine number three. So all of these things are just kind of factoring into the delay that we're dealing with right now. So uh, a little bit of, of a mix. We've got excitement. We've also got anxiety. Uh, you know, folks here are biting their nails just trying to figure out what is going to happen next, but certainly a historic mission ahead. Definitely, they're trying to preserve as much of that two-hour window that they have. Nadia, I want to bring you in as well. This mission is more than a decade in the making, but were these delays expected? Is this something that they planned for? <laughs> I think we always have to expect delays when we're testing new hardware for the first time. And of course, this is the first time that we've seen this fully stacked rocket and the spacecraft on top of it. And we're actually putting them through a launch countdown under launch conditions. And so I think everybody was kind of expecting some sort of delay. It just wasn't clear what exactly was going to go wrong. And I think, um, as Morgan mentioned, the cascade of issues that we've seen are uh, tough to predict. And it's tough to know which of those things might be a showstopper, which is why they're still proceeding with the countdown clock, even though they're working some issues right now. We are waiting on the edge of our seats to see if this launch will happen. Nadia, Morgan, thank you so much, guys. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.